Bernard just became friends with Cheryl, and they want to know when her birthday is. Instead of just telling them the answer, Cheryl decides to give them some clues and 10 possible dates. Cheryl then tells Albert the month she was born in, and Bernard the day she was born in. Neither person heard the other answer. Albert said, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard can't know the answer. Bernard said, At first I didn't know when Cheryl's birthday was, but now I do know. Then Albert says, Then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. So, when is Cheryl's birthday? The first step is to write all the dates down. Now consider the information each person has. Albert knows only a month. Bernard knows only a day. Albert says Bernard can't know the answer. This means the date can't be deduced solely from the day Bernard was given. So the month can't contain a unique day. If it did, Bernard would already have the answer and we could all go home. May and June both contain unique days that don't show up in any other month, 18 and 19. So we can rule them out. The answer has to be in July or August. Remember, all Bernard has to start with is a day. But like us, he now also knows the month can't be May or June. Since Albert knows, he can't have the answer already. He arrives at the answer. For Bernard to have an answer now, we know whatever number he was given was unique between the months of July and August, meaning it can't be 14. If it were, he'd still be just as lost as we are. Since he already has the day, and it only occurs in one of the months left, he now has the full date. Now that Bernard has the answer, Albert knows, like we do, that he didn't have the number 14. It has to be 15, 16, or 17. Now Albert arrives at the answer, which is great for him, but how did he figure it out? And how do we figure it out? Remember, Albert has more information than we do. Like us, he figured out from Bernard's ability to answer that he didn't have 14. But Albert also knows the month, and since Albert arrived at an answer, we now know he must have been told July. If it had been August, Albert would be stumped with no way to know if Cheryl was born on the 15th or the 17th. The only answer left is July 16th.